I don't like Harry Potter. He's a magician. It's it's as ridiculous as it sounds. Um, and <laughs> is this a horror movie? It, it's like a found footage horror movie, but it's also like it makes fun of itself because it's okay. like you, very it, self aware. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a frog with a freaking wand. Yeah, and does he kill people with the yeah. wand? And he like can like mind control people. Does he look like a frog? What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to Into the Geekverse. Me and Phil are back, but we have our first time having three people on the podcast at once in person. We have Seth from According to Seth. How are you doing today, man? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, Seth, we basically spent all of Comic-Con with, right, Phil? Yeah, that's right. We spent, what, the whole five days there? Mm -hmm. pretty much and it was it was a blast like i mean it was really cool to have you there uh you gave us the you taught us a lot about comic-con and i think it's going to be really cool to kind of do a uh, three-person podcast in here for once so <laughs> i'm a little nervous if i'm being honest with you guys but uh i think, I think it's it'll, gonna go well yeah i think it'll overall go pretty well so let's get straight into this uh there's a lot to talk about uh some things i want you guys to kind of know about seth um didn't tell him I was going to do this, but uh, Seth, tell us a little bit about where you're you're from, what you do, uh, just a little bit about you so the audience kind of gets to know you. Yeah, definitely. So I'm from actually Arizona, born and raised. I know that's like a rare thing around here, um, but I do movie reviews, video games sometimes, TV shows, things like that. But most importantly, I actually, I love interviewing people. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Fantastic Fest last year for the first time and I started interviewing um, there and that's kind of where I fell in love with it. So that's kind of my main thing and what I really want to do with my um, career. Awesome. I love to hear that. Now, me and Phil are going to ask you a couple questions. Please. Okay. What's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, God. You're already hitting me with the hard questions. Hard questions. So yeah. I always say the uh, John Carpenter's Halloween because it's oh. what got me into horror and it's kind of basically what got me into film. Um, but I would also say Interstellar. I, Interstellar. I love Fuck. that movie so, so much. Are you going to see the re-release this I year? I have to, because I never got to see it in IMAX. See, I've never gotten to see it in theaters, in general. I had a panic attack. <laughs> I, That's it's awesome. It's a really good movie. It's yeah. amazing. I enjoyed it. It's incredible. It's 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 my personal favorite Christopher Nolan movie. I agree with that. So, uh, Phil, have you ever seen Halloween? Yes, I have. Which one? The original. The original? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good to know. I'm happy. Okay, yes. next question. Go favorite ahead. TV show? Ooh, favorite TV show. Um, God, that's a tough one. There's so many good ones. Honestly, right now, I'm watching The League. I'm re-watching that. Oh, okay. The um, fantasy football show, yeah, right? Yeah, it's so funny. Um, Heroes was really good until yeah. that like final season. Um, I feel like it's hard to say like what a favorite TV show is for me because there's so many good ones out there. I do like um, Game of Thrones. I think that was one of the best and well-done shows ever made. I agree. I agree. Are you enjoying House of the Dragons? Have you started you know, it? I tried watching it and getting into it, but I couldn't do it. Oh, okay. I, I'm one of the <laughs> yeah. few people. Damn. I, don't... I, I, I don't blame you for not watching House of Dragons. I don't think it was probably even that good. It just doesn't interest me. <laughs> shut I don't, I don't. You didn't even try. Did you try? No. Did you watch Game of Thrones? No. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last thing. Favorite video game of all time? Uh, honestly, Gears of War 3. Uh, okay. You see, he's trying to appeal to me. You see this, Phil? He's trying favoritism, to appeal to me. Favoritism. Nepotism. Yeah. That was the first game that made me He ball. walked in, saw my Gears of War 3 box, and he was yeah. like, I'm at home. I don't blame you, though. Gears of War 3 kind of slaps. It's so yeah. good. And do you, uh, just as a story, yeah. Phil, do you remember, I think you guys were ahead of me in the story, so you guys knew, spoiler alert, if you've never played Gears 3, uh, Dom died. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I was in the party. We oh were yeah, doing the little so we Xbox were Live party. Xbox Live party, and they knew I was getting to that scene, mm -hmm. and like all of a sudden, like because I'm like hyped, I'm like playing, and then like all of a sudden, I just went quiet. Do you remember this? Yeah, <laughs> I, I just went quiet, and they knew, like I was getting to that point, and I think you started laughing. I vividly remember you laughing, and you're like, "Did he just die?" And I just like was like, "Yep." Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny too is like thinking on it like another favorite of mine is uh god of war 3 i don't know oh, what it is about great oh but like the fact that you just get to beat the living freaking hell out of yeah. zeus is the greatest thing ever Dude, that game literally starts you off and in a tutorial beating the shit out of poseidon yeah. doesn't yeah. it it's yeah it's awesome. so yeah. good i love god of war 3 it's not my personal favorite god of war game but it is i mean top yeah. three of all time i just pers i prefer like the more storytelling stuff yeah. so I prefer just beating the living shit out of every Greek god there ever I was. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, do you have any questions for Seth? Hmm. 
No, no, not at the moment. I'll have to think on that. Okay, fair enough. So, Seth, I also want to talk about you got to do a Q&A in Arizona at Pollock Cinemas, right? Yes. For Frogman? Yeah. Okay, so can you explain to me what the fuck Frogman is? So, uh, <laughs> how did that kind of come about and everything? Because I know you've been wanting to do, like you mentioned, like more interviews and stuff like that. So how did this all come about? So, um, first of all, Frogman is a cryptid out of Loveland, Ohio, okay. who is a uh, frog that has a wand. Um Kind of like Harry Potter, he's a magician. It's it's as ridiculous as it sounds. Um, and, <laughs> Is this a horror movie? It, it's like a found footage horror movie, but it's also like it makes fun of itself because it's okay. like you, very self aware. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a frog with a freaking wand. Yeah, and does he kill people with the yeah. wand? And he like can like mind control people. Does he look like a frog? He it's literally like a like a walking frog. The poster's awesome. Yeah. Like Are you, you looking this up yeah, now? If you look yeah, it up, I'm, I'm looking it up. And it's funny because I had a discussion with Anthony, the writer and the director, and we were. Is he ta- from here? No, or he's he- from. Um, I forgot where he's from, but I know he lives in Denver. Okay. Um, but we were talking about Frog Frogman, and the fact that somebody like saw this like creature in yeah. Ohio and was like so descriptive about like. Seeing oh, a frog so this with is like wand. based on a true. Yeah, yeah, it's like thing. Sasquatch. Yeah, it's, it's like Sas- yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know Cryptid that. Cryptid is like. Uh, like folklore oh monsters. i didn't know that okay so like wendigos exactly. wendigos and flatwoods stuff. monster uh jupacabra like yeah. stuff like that. okay yeah so but like so the, cryptid yeah, that's so cryptid. okay so yeah. like the fact that somebody like said they saw this i feel like it's hard to make up something do you believe like, it i mean it's a frog with a wand like okay. how how do you come because because that's like where that? i'm at with that is anytime someone says i saw this thing this is like the photos that are coming yeah. up for is that me. what it looks like yeah. in the movie yeah. Shut the fuck up. That's no what it way. looks like in the movie. The one on the this one. It looks more like Where that can one. people watch it? Um you can watch it on Shout uh or Screenbox right now and you can rent it on like all the streaming services. Or like wherever you rent your movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's we, worth a watch. Are we gonna watch it? Yeah, I think I'm so pissed that I couldn't go. I had to right work late that day, and then I. What time did it start at? Uh, so we ended up starting at like seven. Like yeah. See, I got off work at seven forty-five ish. I made my wife start. I made her do all the D twenty-three shit while I was still working. I was like, "Can you just tweet out?" Like I was like, "Follow this page, this page, this page." Anytime they tweet out something, fucking do it. I need an assistant. See, no, I made her my assistant. I was like, "I will buy you fucking dinner tonight, but I need you to do this for me while I'm working." That's amazing. <laughs> so. Um, to answer your question about the interview stuff, yeah, uh, the Q and A. So I, um, I actually interviewed Anthony a few months prior um, about his movie, and then with that, um, we kind of just kept in, in touch and in contact. And then I like randomly we were talk. I forgot like how it got brought up, but we were talking, and I was like, "Dude, it'd be sick if we did a screening in Arizona." And he's like, "I actually have family out here who's, oh, who've been perfect. wanting me to like put the yeah. film out." So I was like, "Dude, let me like reach out. Let me see if I can." rent out a theater and get this going and then i found the theater with pollock cinema i want to see this movie yeah that i want to see this fucking movie so bad that sounds so good so you sold us on it it's like yeah. now going back to this i want to talk about the cryptid yeah, yeah. cryptids right that's what we're talking yeah. about okay do we believe in this shit like all some of, us? of them i i think there could be some yeah what which one don't you believe in i mean the mothman i feel like Mothman, yeah, that's a hard sell. That's a hard sell. Um, like the Jersey Devil, I feel like. But like when you have like Nessie, Nessie literally could just be a dinosaur. We've only explored ten percent. Oh, of the ocean. Loch Ness monster. Yeah. yeah, the Loch Ness monster. What else? Uh, Flatwoods Sasquatch, monster. Do you guys believe like in? Do you guys do ghosts and demons and stuff? Are they cryptids too or no? No, they're not cryptids. No. Do you guys believe in that? I mean, I do, but not in a way where it's like you'll see like an apparition. More like it's like a feeling. Yeah. You too? Yeah. About that? Okay, what about um, aliens? Yeah. 100%. Definitely. There's zero chance we are the only life in the entire galaxy. Do you guys think we're the smartest life in the only galaxy? No. I don't no. know about that. I don't well, know it's about pretty that. cool, guys, because today we're going to be talking about the entire Alien franchise. Yes. Not Alien movies, but yeah. the Alien franchise with the Xenomorphs because Alien Romulus came out. Obviously, it came out a week prior to this coming out. Um, so we're going to talk spoilers later on in this, and we're going to kind of dive into a retrospect on the entire franchise. I, I am very I, Phil, I am very proud of you. What? You did everything I asked you to do this week. Yay, Phil. I know, that's so awesome. I asked you to watch the two other links. And 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 again, I I'm pr- like I know you'll do this stuff, mm-hmm. but I know you also are addicted to video games. Yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> <laughs> like he'll do it yeah. like he was editing the shorts for last week and he was like i promise you i'm gonna get these to you and he submitted them two hours before the deadline yeah 
pretty much. I so, love that. Which is totally fine. I so. also love that like we started this thing off talking about like cryptids, and now like everybody who watches these are gonna be like, this guy is a nut. No, nah, dude, are real. dude, that that's the <laughs> whole point because this whole podcast is about us. Like the first, literally the first topic piece is called rest stop rambles where we just ramble off about random shit yeah i was gonna say speaking of cryptids and aliens what about uh what was that movie that was based on arizona story was, oh the phoenix forgotten phoenix, oh is that no, the alien like one the sky something fire sky, in the sky fire, fire in Bro, the sky that movie fucked me up that yeah. abduction scene i've never been more scarred in my entire life i refuse to ever oh watch signs movie scarred again. me oh signs scared the living shit i mean signs scared me i think so. i've said this before my dad showed me the alien scene that's it yep. as a kid he shows me that and he goes this is a real alien <laughs> i mean i believe he, it. he didn't cut to phoenix's like reaction or anything he just straight up showed me that and he was <laughs> so for at least five more years i think until i was 10 when i actually watched the movie I thought it like I would tell people, guys, I've I've seen an alien. Like I, I've legitimately seen an alien. And then I watched the movie and I was like, You fucking liar. You fucking liar. So I, I love that man. Um cryptids are real, uh, uh for the most part. Yeah. Um and Frogman, we believe, is real as well. Yeah. So how do you know he didn't actually get the frog? That's a good question. Yeah, did you ask him that? Like, did you ask him, like, hey, did you actually find the frog man? Does well, he believe in the frog man? I mean, you kind of have to if somebody comes up with such a, like, crazy cryptid like that. And this is in Colorado, right? Frogman? No, uh, or... Frogman's Loveland, Ohio. In Ohio. in Ohio. Did they film Ohio. in Ohio then, I'm guessing? Um, no, I think he said they filmed it all in Minnesota. Oh. But it looks very, like, uh, what was it? Jason from Terror Trader was saying, like, he was from that area, and it looked very reminiscent of it. That's cool. Well, congrats to you, man, for getting to do the Q&A. That's sick. Uh, we're questioning and answering you as well right now. So that's pretty it. sick if you ask mm -hmm. me, Phil. So I guess, guys, um, do you have anything else? Do you want to ask us questions? Do you have well, any questions for us? We already answered the cryptid, uh, if you think it's real. You can ask us anything. Yeah. Um, can it can be cut out. What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game? video game? Hmm. I think we. I think I asked you this on the first episode, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what did tough. you say? You can change your mind. Doesn't yeah. matter. You don't have to try and remember. I think I would love. Uh, I think I liked Metro Twenty Thirty Three. Okay. And did you ever play like, it? No. Oh, dude, I've heard it's of so it. good. Yeah, it's. Is that it's the really newest good. one or the original? No, that's the original. That's the first one that made me like. He's really, really he's really into Russian stuff. Yeah. Like real uh, no yeah. very into the Russian. Well, like stuff. Mush, uh, Metro and like Stalker and everything. Yeah. It's kind of it's. Uh, what would I would I, I would say it's like the equivalent of like Mad Max is to like America. Mm -hmm. It's their kind of it's kind of like their Mad Max in okay. a way, like the whole Chernobyl stuff, yeah. nuclear radiation apocalypse kind of thing is their like Mad check Max. That out. It's cool. Yeah, it's you should really play it. Metro is awesome. Like the whole play yeah. the newest one, I would say, because the other two are a little dated at this point. Um, I would they say. do have like Redux. Oh, versions. do they have? Oh, yeah. yeah I forgot they, they have do the, have remasters. They have uh, the Redux of 2033, which carries like all the mechanics from like the second game yeah. over, which is super cool. And then the second one's just really awesome. And then Exodus is just great. I, I like it. There you go, yeah. man. So, TV show for you. What's your favorite? TV uh, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul are my favorites. Um, I I love those. Just everything that's that one two punch. I go back and forth with which one's my favorite. So you're gonna hate me. Why? I've never seen Breaking Bad, but you want to know why? Hmm. So. They had like a marathon on AMC, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna check this out." And the you saw the last episode. I saw the last episode, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Do I want to go back and watch all of it now?" It, it's definitely worth it. Um, but I think you have the unique perspective that you can watch Better Call Saul first. Okay. Then when you get to the final season, stop and go to Breaking Bad, okay. then jump back into Better Call Saul. That's how I would recommend it. But I'm not mad. I don't even think you've fucking seen it. No. Yeah, trust me. You don't disappoint me because every fucking time I mention a movie, he's like, "I haven't seen it." Yeah, and it just pisses me off. We're just gonna like sit you in a room, like you know how they like like emergency. Well, we have a list. <laughs> yeah, we have a list of movies he needs to watch. Yeah, like, he has a he has a list. He's never. Do you want me to tell you some? Yeah. Lord of the Rings, never seen it. Yeah. Harry Potter, he's seen some, but not all of them. Like uh, the first two. Inception, you've never seen. Yep. You saw all the Toy Stories, right? You saw four with Forky. Uh, yeah, Forky. Yeah. Okay, so we're fine there, or else I would have kicked you out. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Every time I, I, I've had a guest on here, I literally ask them, like, what is your opinion on Toy Story 4? And if they tell me they didn't like it, or no, sorry, if they hadn't seen it, I'm like, out, done. We're yeah. done with the podcast. <laughs>
Anyways, guys, um, that is the rest stop rambles part. We're going to j- be jumping into the reviewing segment in the new segment where a bunch of shit came out, um, things to review, things to talk about. And Warner Brothers went ahead and sent us the Furiosa 4K Blu-ray. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on Furiosa? I know we've all seen it, so I'll start off with our guest while I get the Blu-ray out. Yes, please get it out. Um, I actually really liked Furiosa, and I'm one of the few people who actually liked Furiosa more than Fury Road. I honestly agree with you. Well, I'm like tied on them because for me, the thing with Furiosa is it actually makes Fury Road a better movie. It does. Yeah. So what did you think, Phil? I really liked the film. Yeah. I think it was like, uh, it was a good 8 out of 10 for me. I really liked it. I think you're insane. What? I think you're insane. An 8 out of 10? Yeah, I liked it. An 8 out of 10? Yeah. Why not a 10 out of 10? Because like 10 out of 10, it's like. I'm about to take away the 8s. Like I'm about to take away the 8s from you. Why? I think you say eight too much. You think I say eight too much? Yeah. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. I should just give. I should just say you're allowed to say a ten, a nine, or a six. Okay. What is it then? A ten or a nine or a six? Yeah. I think it's a nine. Okay. Good. Yeah, We're good on there. Six. Get out of here. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I love Furiosa. Uh, the 4K surprisingly even looks stronger than it did on the screen. So I highly recommend it. It's out in. It's out in all stores right now. Just wanted to bring it up. Thank you so much again for Warner Brothers for sending this on mm-hmm. over because uh, I love this movie and I was really happy to finally be able to revisit it again because I did not get time to see it in theaters again. Uh, did you guys only see it once in theaters? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I-, I love it. I think it's just as good as Fury Road, if not a little bit better. But I think the, the way you watch the movie now is you watch mm-hmm. Furiosa and then you then go and you watch, watch Fury Max, Road yeah. because you can't have one without the other now. Like I cannot imagine. I, I know it's funny cause I, I forgot we have the Furiosa poster up completely mm. forgot that fucking glorious. I wish it did better in theaters. Honestly, like it, it deserves so much more. Same, same. Yeah. Uh, I, our, our other host, uh, Tyler, uh, he finally saw it yesterday. He was texting me about it. He goes, this movie was awesome. Blah, 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 blah. And then he goes, and I was like, yeah, too bad. We'll never get another one. He goes, wait, why? And I was like, cause it bombed. No one saw it in theaters. And he's like, I don't get how people didn't go to the theater to see it. I was yeah. like, you didn't go to the theaters to see it. <laughs> and, but then I, I was like, but I, and I was like, I called myself out cause I went to a press screening for it and then I never went and saw it again. So I'm also a part of the problem cause I didn't go and pay for it. Yeah. So like, I love Furiosa. I highly support it. If you like Fury Road, you should check out mm. Furiosa. Up next guys, Craven, uh, the new trailer came out this week, uh, that features the fucking Rhino. Um, so this comes from the Sony Spider-Man extended universe of bullshit with uh, Morbius, Venom, Madam Web. Um, how do, would we all think of the trailer, uh, Phil? Sorry, I'm just writing. No, you're that good. Down. You're good. Um, I mean, it was just. Are you gonna go see it? Eh, I don't think I will. No. No. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably. Honestly, I think the movie might slap. I'm, I'm like, it's bloody, it's violent, dudes ripping heads off. I'm like. Out of all of the like Sony verse movies that they're doing of like the live action stuff, this one seems like it has the most potential. But like I'm like I know the story is gonna suck ass. But like I'm going into this to be like I'm here to see you know Craven just hunt and take people out. What's it rated? It. It's rated R. Yeah, it's rated, it's R. rated R. R. It's rated R. R. Okay, alrighty. That's alrighty. why I'm giving that it a changed. chance. Okay. You're gonna go see it now because it's yeah. rated R. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If it was going to be PG thirteen, I was just going to be yeah. like, okay. yeah, it's going to be mid. If it was um, PG, I don't, I didn't care for the first trailer. I still don't really care for the second one. But a lot of that not caring comes from I'm just over the Spider Man extended universe. Yeah. Like I'm just, I'm over it. Yeah, like, I don't understand. None of the films it. are good. I also don't like the Venom films. I oh, see, I like the Venom films. I think they're fun enough, but they're not good movies. No, that, no. that's the problem. Madam Web was fucking awful. Morbius was fucking awful. Um, Craven. It sucks because you have an amazing director on this movie. Mm. You have Aaron Taylor fucking Johnson playing him. I just, for me, I, I like watch this and I'm like, I would rather Craven just be in a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fight it. Like No Way Home, I still contend that movie should have been Craven hunting him in New York. And I think it originally was supposed to be that. And then Sony's like, actually, no, we're doing a Craven movie, which we're going to talk. Something leaked out this week that... It turns out anytime Sony uses a Spider-Man villain in their movie, Marvel is not allowed to use them anymore. Oh. So, no Craven, no Morbius, which who gives a fuck, no Madam Web, 
technically no Venom, but I don't believe that. I think we'll eventually get a Venom. Yeah. And then there's some other villains in Craven. No Rhino. And no, there's a Calypso and Chameleon are in this movie. So that means oh. you can't use them. Is it like ever now? Or is it uh, like I, d- for I think time? for just for some time. But like, I mean, for the time being of having Tom Holland, like by the time they're probably allowed to use this. So and if it's that. true, that's disappointing as shit yeah. in my opinion. That's yeah. an awful choice. Because I want to see craven go up against a tom holland i want to see him fight the rhino maybe not this version of the rhino yeah because the rhino looks like shit in this movie which do you guys remember the last trailer where you saw him turning into the rhino yeah that was originally the last shot of the movie oh so let me tell you right now are we betting that the rhino when he, you see him go for the punch that is the final shot in the film oh no are we guessing that because no. i'm guessing it i i feel like it is I think, I mean, I read somewhere that they just did some more reshoots on it. So I feel like they made up, might have added more action sequences with Rhino. But, like, why would they end it with just him punching? Like, Because, let me tell you, because Amazing Spider-Man 2 yeah, also ended to... with him throwing the thing sure. at the Rhino. Yeah. And I, that meme of, you know, what's, what's, it's like I had a, if I had a quarter for every single time something happened, mm-hmm. I would have two quarters. It's, it's a little weird that it's happened twice, but it's happened twice at this point. Yeah. I was, I was, as soon as you said about, about it being the last shot of the film, I immediately thought of Amazing Spider Man 2. Yeah. Would you rather have that version of the Rhino or this one? I don't. I, We've both seen neither. him before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like the actor. Well, I like Paul Giamatti, but yeah. I like the actor that they have playing the rhino for this one. But, like, I don't really care because if, like, in the end of the day, if that is true, it's just my prediction. I'm not saying that yeah. I've heard that or anything. And everything we're speaking about is speculation. It's a leak. So we, we can't fully say, like, what is real and what isn't. It's just yeah. what we've heard. So, I mean, for me, I I think it's a little disappointing feel free to fix the mic man i know it's bothering you you can untwist it at the top and like move it (laughs) no it just like slightly it just you can like turn it yeah 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 right there just lean forward just a bit more and i think you're good no 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 no. you the mic can stay back but i feel like i'm about to like turn it a little more turn it it yeah oh well there we go actually turn it a little bit this way this is what we like like to do on yeah 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 yeah. perfect Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. It looks like you're taking that in the mouth yeah. now. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a sight to behold. I love it. Have you guys seen the alien popcorn buckets? I have. By the way, have you mm-hmm. seen them? It l- <laughs> well, one of them looks. It, so if you block the face, it just looks like a giant. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I wanted it for the set, if I'm being honest with you. But I was only going to block out the face and just have the other part sticking yep. out. And then we were going to make any guest uh, sit on it. I like that. See, he agrees. Yeah. What would you think? They might not come back, but... What? Why are you giving me that face? <laughs> You're funny. I am funny. Um, <laughs> jumping in next, are, are we done? Like, Craven, we're fine with. Like, yeah. it could be cool, could be great, could be awful, could be whatever. As long, I'm just happy I, that it's rated R. See, yeah. and that's the one thing. You said it. If I go see this movie, and the action is top tier, it's like fucking John Wick, honestly, I don't care. Yeah. As long as I'm not bored... I'll probably give it a good score. Exactly. I was going to say, if Morbius was rated R, would you have liked it more? Probably not. Is it the same story? Yeah. The exact same movie, just rated R? Yeah. No. I didn't mind Morbius. I would rather watch Morbius than Madam Web. I'll tell you that much. That's fair. I'm reversed. Because Madam Web is funny. Not intentionally, but it's It's funny to me morbius i just thought was boring it was and yeah. that's my thing like even if you added blood and stuff i don't think it would have changed anything personally for me does he actually bite people uh, in that movie I, I, it's forgettable i don't remember do you remember no i, I think can't he remember. does once does he because no. remember in the show they had it on the hands yeah because they couldn't do biting on the mouth so i don't know anyways let's talk about the cringe short film uh i'm pulling up this is from alex and john they're tiktokers but also just pursuing film and stuff um i love their humor and everything going about them and for me this short i didn't know what to expect from it i kind of just went to watch it because oh i like their stuff on tiktok and instagram and all this stuff and i really like their podcast and i'm like you know i'm gonna watch this i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and i watched it i was actually like pretty impressed for the overall concept in what 14 minutes Mm -hmm. and how 
obviously I've watched them on social media and they kind of play themselves. So it's like, I have that relationship yeah. aspect to like fall back. They're like, Oh, I love them as a relationship. Mm-hmm. And then when he ends up being a piece of shit at the end of the movie, like it, it sucks, but it's like the whole cringe aspect, especially being in this community and being in social media, it hit a little harder to home than I expected. Mm-hmm. Like when I tell my wife to hold the camera up and like <laughs> help me pose for some fucking stupid thing or, you know, vice versa when we're shooting this podcast and I'm like, Phil, do this, Phil, do that, Phil, do this. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. Same thing with like Mm comic-con, you know, we go to comic-con like, and I made Phil do the most embarrassing thing probably when we had to do the live stream right after the panel. And all these people are just staring at us while we're sitting out in this beautiful Vista view, (laughs) you know? Mm -hmm. So I know you guys watched it overall. What did you guys think? Do you guys agree with like the whole concept of like what I'm saying and like how they pulled it off or what? Yeah. I mean the whole idea about how social media and like, the way how we have to present ourselves online to it is cringe. Yeah. It, it's tough. Yeah. And, um, it kind of like opens your eyes to like a perspective or it's like a perspective that everyone kind of knows, but doesn't really talk about. Yeah. Right? It is cringy to do social media stuff in general yeah. and film things in general. Like, uh, I don't like filming vlogs personally. I've tried, and I just feel awkward. Like I used to try and do Blu-ray hunting vlogs and I I felt awkward doing it. Like going into Best Buy, filming like my whole experience. Like, And then it's like, I feel like I have to buy something because I'm going out for a vlog. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, you don't really feel that. So what about you, Seth? I know you're specifically, did you start on TikTok or did you start on YouTube? TikTok. Okay. So yeah. like, how do you, like I, they started on TikTok too. So I'm like curious on that output. I, I honestly, I really enjoyed the movie too. And I, I think it's like, you know, everybody expects, like, people just to be, like, happy all the time. And that's, like, what you see on social media. You only see the, like, one side of things. And, like, I feel like it's important for people to share the other side of things as well. But it's also, like, it takes a lot on people's, like, mental health and things like that. Like, that's one aspect that I don't think people get. And, like, people are getting shit on all the time and torn down for the reviews and things like that. And I think... Uh, people need to remember that there's they're just people too on the yeah. other side no yeah. i agree so overall i liked it uh i'm excited to see what they do next because i yeah. think they're filming another thing right now um but i thought this was a, like as a short film it's better than any fucking short film i made i'll tell you that right yeah now. quality wise and i'm i won't say great. i'll say ours were a little bit more fun to make yeah. phil yeah. used to be i mean you were in almost all of them right i'm trying to think you were in the know. deadpool one you were in the horror one but you mm-hmm. couldn't stay that long for the horror one, so we killed you off first. Yeah. We switched your position. So <laughs> he, I don't remember what happened. I don't know if it was work or something, but he had to go. Yeah. And so he was originally supposed to be like one of the last survivors, so I just fucking ended up killing him off right at the start. The Pokemon one, that was another one you got busy, so we mm-hmm. kicked you out of the group earlier on. We did like a Pokemon Go, like Addicts Anonymous That's one. Awesome. Uh, went on a little too long. I hate that <laughs> edit. I would have cut out a couple things, but yeah, no, like... Uh, short films are cool because you get to kind of like see like a viewpoint of like someone's personality yep. mm-hmm. and i i got a lot from this so overall uh eight out or out of ten uh so we skipped the seven i would go an eight out of ten i'd do eight out of ten too yeah eight out of ten i was gonna say there was an uh there's another short film because we don't really talk about short films no here. and i want to add a little bit more um the only other short film that i've really seen that i that like sticks out to my mind and you might know this is the lights out one before oh, they made yeah, it into before a movie. they made it into a movie, yeah. Yeah. I hate that, that whole, fucking short. Yeah, that whole short. Not because it's me, bad, it's scary. Yeah, it gave me goosebumps, and it was like, oh, you know, and then it but got now, so popular, yeah, and they made it into a it, movie. I, well, and you see the director, and like now he's doing an Until Dawn movie. Yeah. Like, it's cool to see, like, I think short films are a big way. Rocka Rocka made Talk to Me. Yeah. And you see all their YouTube things were basically short films for the mm-hmm. most part, so that's a good thing to say. It's also crazy, too, like... I, I need to watch more shorts, but um, there's a lot of short horror films that are like a million times scarier than full-on feature movies. Like, I there's so many out there, um, and all of them just look absolutely terrifying. Yeah, me. I think uh, horror has better benefits from short films than like long movie formats. That's why most of the shorts I made were horror, mm-hmm. because they were easy to develop, cheaper to make, yeah. but in general... They're easier to write. Like most scripts I have are horror related stuff. And I have multiple other ones that I still want to. I just 
Because you could do a horror scene, but to do a horror movie, you have to think like, how long am I really going to have to stretch this out? Yeah. Like an hour and a half, whatever it is. And so, so I'll say if you do another short and you need somebody to kill and cover with blood, hit me cover up. Cover blood. I don't think we ever did blood, right? No, we no, didn't. We, didn't we have never had fake that. blood. I'll, I'll no. be the test subject. But now <laughs> it's interesting because I filmed those when I was living with my parents still. Now I have a house. That was the whole thing is yeah. I need a place to film this at. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'd have to. We were so young at the time, too. We oh, were like yeah. 17. 17, 18, yes. 19. Listen, like, Spirit Halloween's open. We can go get that's a bunch true. of fake blood. That's true. I have. I, I just wrote an outline for one because I had a dream. Uh, and a, a lot of it. The problem with a lot of my stories is I never know how to end them. Yeah. Um, but this one's like basically I wake up and I like walk down my hallway and I literally see myself walk in front of me into the room and then I go to that room and then I'm not there. And then I turn around and then I see myself walk again. And it's that unknowing torture of like mm-hmm. following myself until mm. something happens. So maybe one day I'll make it. I don't know. Do I have time? Not really, but, <laughs> uh, guys up next, I also got to watch a movie this week called the Supremes at Earl's all you can eat. This is coming to Hulu on August 23rd. And it follows a trio of best friends known as the Supremes, who for decades has weathered life's storms together through marriage, children, happiness, and the blues. All right. It's okay. It's it's decent. I, I think this is a movie that would have been made in like the 90s. Yeah. And like everyone would have been like, you have to see this movie because it's that fucking good, you know? But now we, we're in 2024 where thousands of these movies have been made. Yeah. And I think the thing that makes me be able to say you should see it is if you enjoy heartfelt emotional stories that little cliche you know probably what's going to happen here and there and that's about it um i thought the performances were good uh specifically and i'm going to mispronounce this name anjuan anjuan ellis taylor she was from king richard i'm pretty sure she was amazing as the mom but I overall really liked her in this. I thought she was one of the strongest part. Uh, Tati Gabriel was also great. Oh, she's great. Yeah. So a lot of this movie just kind of centers on this group of girls and you really come to love their relationship with one another. And if you like friendship movies, this is it. A little tough to watch. Obviously deals with racial and civil civil rights and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And just certain things that were just terrible mm-hmm. at this point in time. But I, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I can like fully recommend it. Um, I think it just kind of depends on your cup of tea. You might watch this and think it's one of the best movies ever. I watched it and thought, oh, that was pretty decent. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever watch that again. Also, I hate the fucking title for this movie. Can I just say The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat? I understand why it's the title. Yeah. But it's just, it's too long. It's too long. Yeah, sometimes, like, it should have just been called The Supremes. Yeah. Like, personally, I think that would have, like, it, like again, the place that they go to is, like, at Earl's All You Can Eat. There's, like, a centerpiece all around that, which, again, I liked. But I've just seen this movie thousands of times before. So, overall, uh, on my rating, I I go A through F. I'd probably give this a C. Uh, in terms of, like, the 1 through 10, I'd probably give this a 6.5. So, that's okay. where I'm at. So, on to the next thing, guys. Fortnite started its next season. Do you I play saw, Fortnite? Yes, I do. Okay, did you play the new season yet? I haven't played it because my friends are too busy for me and don't want to play. So Dude, I don't... You don't have to play with friends. It's fun yeah. just by yourself. I it's I cool. I need to just do it solo. Yeah, but uh, so I played nine hours yesterday <laughs> of it. I'm already at level 45. Oh my God. Dude, hit me up. Let's play. Yeah, I, I well, I don't know. If, well, I bought the like extension yeah. of the pass because I, I don't have time. Oh, I didn't buy it, but I had coins, and I was like, fuck it. you do the build mode? Because I can't do building. No, fuck building. No. Fuck building. I'm not. No. Hell no. I no, I can't do that. Um, This is the new Mar- Marvel season. It's called, what, Absolute Doom, correct? Yeah. Um, so me and Phil have played it. You've played a little bit of Fortnite. Yeah. Um, as the outsider, does this make you want to play more Fortnite because it's Marvel? Does it not? Like, what Does this intrigue you? I mean, it definitely intrigues me. I really loved when they had like the lightsabers and they did the whole yeah, Star Wars cool. thing. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I, I just love playing that game. I think it's just a blast, and it's one of the easier battle royales to play out there. And mm-hmm. honestly, one of the only good, like one that's stayed consistently good. Yeah, like, yeah. I I, and I've and yeah. I've told him this multiple times. They are the only ones that I actually think have a decent battle pass. Yeah, that makes you feel like you can finish it and not it's not consuming all your time. And then not only that, when you finish it, you get to buy the next one. If yeah. you don't buy any of the extra cosmetics throughout that yeah. season, right? They just give you enough to buy to yeah. keep buying it, which so is it's awesome. almost like you buy it once and yeah. you're good. Yeah, even too like the like buying like the Deadpool skin or things like that. 
they make it like where it's a reason reasonable price. It's yep. not like some outlandish thing. Well, you don't want that Nicki Minaj Call of Duty bundle for like forty dollars. No. I, bu- I bought the Godzilla <laughs> one for thirty, and then I oh played, yeah, the Call of Duty one. Yeah, for yeah. Call of Duty, and then I played what like two days worth of it, and then I haven't touched it in like yeah. two years. So no, eighty dollar game, by the way. Yeah, yeah, but I I was really impressed with this because the la- I, I've been playing Fortnite. I mean, I was one of those supporters back in the day before it was Battle Royale. Yeah. I pre-ordered that shit. I had a physical copy for a long time. That's fine. And then I sold it. I didn't even know it was a physical game. Yeah, I was one of the few. Yeah. I sold it for like $200, oh, wow. 250 or something like that. You know, I actually like to save the world. I did too. too. I liked it. Um, but then they announced the Battle Royale free. Everyone starts playing it because um, it's basically at the time was a better version of PUBG. I mean, yeah. That, that, yeah. that's just how it is. Well, maybe not a better. That That's, that's up for subjective yeah. opinion, but... It ran better. Yep. Um, and then they added, you know, they, they keep adding to the game. Like right now they have like a rebirth mode from like mm-hmm. Call of Duty where you can spawn in again. So that's like intrigues the shit out of me because I love that mode. But now you get Marvel back. And the Marvel season, the last one was like one of the best seasons. I love this so far. Yeah. Like eight hours and I'm just like having a blast. So Battle Pass skins, uh, we got War Machine. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Gwenpool, which, do you guys know anything about Gwenpool? No, I, I didn't I, realize it was a comic line. So let me ask you this. I'm just curious. As an outsider, who do you think Gwenpool is? Like Gwen Stacy is a Deadpool? Wrong. That, that's like the first Wrong. That's concerned. what I thought. Yeah. Did you think the same thing, basically? Like if yeah. someone says Gwenpool? It's not. It literally is a character named Gwenpool. And she gets, from my understanding, she gets sucked into a comic book. And she says shit i'm a big fan of this marvel universe but if i am just a pedestrian a civilian i'll end up dying i have to become a hero so she becomes gwenpool she hates deadpool she hates like it's it's really fascinating i read one comic this last week and it changed my opinion on this character i thought i thought she was stupid yeah i thought it was just like some kind of like mashup yeah no it is an actual legitimate character that is like completely different not a variant nothing so it's cool uh, you also have Shuri is the last one for the battle pass. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Mysterio is like the only one I really care about. If I'm yeah. being honest in here, the, he fucking the peel, peel, oh, peel, peel, Vereen, they have the yeah. fucking banana and then they have captain Jonesy is mm-hmm. whatever. Emma Frost. Fine. Dr. Doom's new skin looks cool. Yeah. I, I don't really care cause I have the original one, but overall they have like a lot of cool new weapons, these medallions. But the big thing is like war machine. You get his whole arsenal. You can like build up the whole back thing. Mm. And it is fucking overpowered. Yeah, no, I was um, I was talking with Zach earlier before you got here. Seth was I was playing it yesterday, and they do like three different parts. So you could get his jetpack, you get a auto cannon, yeah. and then you get his like wrist launchers yeah. and machine guns. And when you combine them all three, you could actually fly around, use the wrist thing, and the cannons That's like cool. auto auto aim. So you could just literally. Oh. Yeah, it's using Dude, it's all three so at awesome. once. You need that for the cars, because I I love the car combat, but I everyone hate, else hated it. I hate it. Yeah, it's it's ruining all the fun for me. It's not there anymore, so okay, you don't have to worry yeah. about it. And then you can get like Doctor Doom's gauntlet gloves, but there's like literally only one on the map. Kind of underpowered, if I'm being honest. Captain America Shield, fucking cool. Yeah, but it is overpowered if you have uh, War Machine's back shit because okay. it will shoot and you can just deflect all the shots. Oh. oh. Yeah. I thought you could like still shoot at people's legs. I don't know. No, it's yeah. really hard. Because oh, okay. the shield, depending on who they're playing as, like the shield mm. will still take over their whole thing. So overall, man, I am really liking this season. Uh again, I'll probably finish the battle pass <laughs> very much soon. Maybe I'll mm-hmm. play tonight. You should. I heavily, I heavily, heavily, heavily think you should. Um, I'm all in for it. What about mm-hmm. you, Phil? What would you yeah, give it out of 10? I'd give it a nine right now. Yeah, it's definitely a nine. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, from what we're saying, what does it sound like to you? It sounds like a nine to me too. Cool. Fuck yeah. Let's do this now. Spoiler alert, alien Romulus. We're going to talk about, we're also yeah. just going to talk about the alien franchise retrospect, like the whole thing. Um, I think I've seen all the alien movies you have. Yeah. I think Phil, you said you've seen most of them, right? Yeah, Which one I've you seen... seen. Here, let me run the. I'll, I'll, I'll pull them up real fast, uh, and I'll just name them. I know you've seen the original. Yeah. I know you've seen Aliens, the second one. We know you've yep. seen Romulus. I Did... think I've seen Aliens three. That's where like the she prison. has clones of herself. No, that's herself. four. That's, that's four. four. That's yeah. the worst one. Yeah. Did you see the prison one? I. I think... Alien three, the dog. There's a dog one. Oh yeah. Oh, I think so. Okay, Prometheus. I've seen that one. Covenant. Yeah. yeah. Alien vs Predator. Yeah. Alien vs Predator two. 
You yeah. can't see anything in it. So it's, if you just told me you didn't see it, it's okay because I couldn't fucking no, see anything. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right. So overall, let's give our thoughts on Alien Romulus, guys. Uh, let's go around and give our score out of 10. Skip the 7, though. Yeah. 9.5. I gave it a 10. Yeah, it's a 10 for me. Whoa! No fucking way! You're That's really... actually amazing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We got to celebrate this because I'm pretty sure this is Phil's fucking first ever 10 on this the show. Is incredible. This is huge. Everyone clap for him. Give him a yeah. round of applause. Makes Phil, I'm so fucking proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You gave something a 10. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought in a million fucking years I'd hear you say 10. Because I'm here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it because of Seth? Mm, yeah, you know what? He, he brought it out of me. <laughs> he brought it out of you? He brought the dog out okay. of me. Okay. So... I I loved Alien Romulus. It's one of the few movies that this year I just keep thinking about and I want to go experience it again. And I've said prior and I, I'll eat crow. I was not an alien fan. I was never a fan of the Xenomorph growing up. I I didn't see Alien or Aliens until I mean, I saw Prometheus first and then I was intrigued to go back and I watched them and I was like, eh, you know, they're decent. Yeah. I like them. I can understand and appreciate it, but every time I've rewatched them, I come more to love them, mm -hmm. and I understand why I like them. And I was always more of an aliens person, action heavy stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Till this last week, I watched Alien twice, and I watched the rest of the franchise. I watched some of them twice, yeah. And I came to the conclusion that I like the horror more than the action, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I never thought I'd say that, and I can say now I'm like an alien fan. Let's go and. It's I didn't. Really good. I was always a Predator fan growing up. My dad talked shit about Xenomorphs and said how big of pussies they were, and how like <laughs> he didn't like them. That sounds like your dad. Yeah, honestly. yeah, 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 yeah. He was like the Predator's just so much more badass yeah. with his arsenal, and like never watched an Alien movie. I saw the Alien. I guess technically Alien versus Predator were my favorite first ones. Yeah, but I don't count those. But like, but I only watched them because they were Predator. Yeah, and I am like in love with this franchise now. The good. The great, not really the bad, because the bad of this franchise is really bad. Yeah. So some of it is, but there are some things to still like. Like the kills in uh, Alien vs. Predator, the second one, what do they call uh, Requiem? Requiem, like, yeah. The kills yeah. in that are some of the best. Oh, man, I can't agree. There's some really The only reason I can't there. agree is because I can't see what the fuck's going on. Oh, yeah, the movie's horrible. If but... you watch that on OLED TV, which I did, it's almost impossible. Like the TV that we bought. Mm -hmm. I So he bought an OLED TV and yeah. I came over to look at it. And the next day I went and bought one. Because I, mean, yeah. I was oh, yeah. so <laughs> blown away by it. But you can't see anything on there because of the darkness yeah. level. Yeah. So it's even worse. But yeah, sticking on Romulus, we're going to yeah. talk about the whole franchise in a second. I love this movie so much. I think the cast is phenomenal. Uh, Kaylee Spaney is amazing as the main lead. Uh, David Johnson, though, steals as the, the android, Andy, mm -hmm. like you said, steals the show. Was he your favorite? He was. Um, Who's well, your favorite? I liked the, what's his name, the guy who was doing all the, like, the the leader, the whole thing. That was I like, Fern, I think, or was yeah. it Archie? Are, are you talking about the kid? No, not the kid. Are you talking about the android, the other android? No. Which kid? I was talking about the, um, main, the main one that's like that protects the, Kaylee. Yeah, like the the possible love interest. Oh, the one that got picked up and murdered yeah. by like four xenomorphs. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked him. He was cool. He was awesome. Yeah, I liked him more than so, Andy. What, so, what about you, Andy? Your favorite character? Andy's definitely my favorite character. But I think what like not a lot of people are giving Isabel Merced a lot of love. No, she's awesome. I thought she fucking crushed her. Her scream. Yeah, was nuts. is so good. Yeah. Now. There's a lot to talk about within Alien Romulus and some theories I definitely want to talk about with both of you guys. But for me, I want to give Fede Alvarez props. Uh, he's a director who did Don't Breathe. He did the Evil Dead remake and he made this. And for me, it wasn't the movie I expected. I went in thinking this is going to be gnarly. This is going to be fucking twisted yeah. and gruesome. And for the most part, it's a love. I, I don't even want to say it's a love letter. It's an amalgamation of every Alien film in the franchise. It has the world building mythology of Prometheus and Covenant. It has the weird grossness of resurrection it has some of the dread from three uh it has even stuff from alien isolation like not just easter eggs but genuinely like the terror it has action scenes like aliens it has the unknowingly what the fuck is going on from alien mm -hmm. yeah. and that's what i loved so much about this movie was that fetty alvarez put it all together and then the last 20 to 30 minutes he's like let me do my thing yeah Mm -hmm. And that's where we get the fucking baby. Um, all of us loved the baby yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, that that was gnarly. It kind of 
Because I, I remember Prometheus. Didn't they show a little bit of what those aliens looked like? The space jockeys, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the engineers. So yeah. they did, and then they perfect they perfect the baby thing in resurrection. Yeah. So that's kind of what he pulls from that. I want to go back real quick, though, to your point about um, going into it thinking it was going to be like Evil Dead 2013 vibes. Mm-hmm. I think that's why some people are very divided on it yeah because they went into seeing this movie thinking it was going to be like bloody as all hell gory as all yep. hell but like the alien franchise was never about that it's never like the, there is gore and stuff and don't get me wrong yeah. like the acid on the guy's fingers yeah, that, that, that yeah. was disgusting yeah like there's still some parts of that movie like of romulus where they do show some like brutal stuff but i think people thinking it was going to be like evil dead when alien has never been like that it's, yeah been about like a haunted house in space and and that's what it still was it was a haunted yeah. mm-hmm. space station basically in the worst type of capacity yeah and so this is a theory that's been going around and you might have it because he flew to la dude yeah. to watch this movie early wow he went to a double feature of alien and alien romulus which just to say here i loved how they tied it they asked yeah. the, there i've never asked this question a fucking the 10 years since i saw alien where did that alien body go yeah and that's the question they give you. Mm-hmm. Who took the alien body and started experimenting on it? And I loved that choice. Mm-hmm. So it's cool that they open up. Like, that was a great opening, which Fede Alvarez always does a great job yeah. with his openings for every single one of his movies. Well, Evil Dead, Don't Breathe in This. I'm yeah. not talking about the fucking girl with the spider tattoo or yeah. whatever the fuck that movie was. I think that was his, uh, let me do that and then I can do whatever I want after. But <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, I really loved the where the fuck was i <laughs> i got zoned out there's so much i love about this movie yeah. someone someone help me. the the baby at the, the end so the baby i've seen theories is that an engineer yes okay so it is an that's, engineer. Yep. that's what i was thinking about because it the, is because they did took, they confirm it well you you can tell it's an engineer for one it's the dna from an engineer yeah and when she injected it into her neck she basically fused that dna with her baby and when the baby was born, it was an engineer instead of a human. Okay. So it was an engineer. Yes. That's cool. Do you like that, Phil? Well, no, I'm just thinking. Sorry, the mic. No, I know it turned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just turned. It was like, ooh, I'll fix spooky. It after. Spooky. Yeah. No. Um so I was, was thinking that? about Prometheus. That makes me like it even more. Because I haven't seen Prometheus in like what? When it came out? Two thousand. And I love Prometheus, I which is too. why I so, love that ending so much. So I'm just like trying to think because that's what the alien reminded me of, the baby alien. Yeah. And so, so it's baby. It's basically a human mixed with that with and, a, DNA and a xenomorph. Yeah. No, it's a human mixed with engineer DNA. Okay. Like so, going because I thought the engineers thing, were already so why, part so why human, was it so fucked they? up? I guess that's my thing. Is like why was it so fucked up? Because looking? they didn't perfect it yet, and that's okay. what yeah. they were working on is to create like the perfect uh, human human like mixed okay so alien. can you explain this to me because yeah. you're a bigger alien fan so the xenomorph yeah okay so they have this alien show coming out alien earth but yeah. takes place before do you know if they're retconning prometheus and covenant i don't know okay i, I hope not. i'm about to be fucking pissed if it is because i loved prometheus yeah i didn't like covenant as much as others but, but like because they're the engineers worshiped something that looked like a xenomorph from my understanding i was watching an ending explain and someone said that correct or am i wrong or am i fucking stupid like their Dude, god been forever their god looks like, oh i'm looking more at him i guess yeah so i don't remember that part because i don't i mean the xenomorphs didn't come until later on because that's what david was doing he was testing deacon the- deacon the deacon is it looks like a xenomorph yeah because he was testing it on different animals on different animals and then on um then he tried a human what's her face poor girl um yeah and and that's like what became the xenomorph because it was like the neomorph and it had like different names but it didn't become a xenomorph until uh whatever happened it went through like a different evolution first and then it evolved with a human okay or so really the thing that that. happens right after prometheus that creature that kind of looks like a xenomorph yeah that is a deacon yeah so they used to worship those things okay Apparently, again, I'm reading this as you guys are fucking yeah, watching this. I know yeah. that part. And I know so, David tried to make the perfect specimen out of that. Which is the xenomorph. xenomorph. So he ended up perfecting the xenomorph, which yeah. is just a killing yeah. thing. Like that. I mean, yeah. but they're super smart too. So yeah. that's why I'm curious because I'm going to be very disappointed if Alien Earth like 
retcons Prometheus and Covenant. Like there, because that teaser was playing during. Did you see the Alien Earth teaser? Did no, it play? Okay, not. so some theaters are playing it, oh. and it's basically Earth, and then like the Xenomorph's head, and it's like reflecting, and then it looks up and like smiles, and it says Alien Earth 2025. Oh wow. So, okay, it we don't know be, a lot about it. Well, I was going to say, it will be interesting to see what they do with Alien Earth because, like, they've never really talked about aliens being on Earth, and they've never, like, they've kind of just always been in space. And Alien vs. Predator is retcon. That's yeah. gone already, so we don't have to worry about exactly. that. But it's like, for me, it's like, are you really going to retcon this again? Like, I'll be, I'll be legitimately disappointed. Yeah. I do not want to lose Covenant and Prometheus. So I know people hate that, but... Um, okay, so we all like the baby. Yeah. The baby is an engineer. That's yeah. fucking cool to me. Yeah. I really like that, just to say the least. Like, yeah. I think that is a cool fucking twist thing. And for a sequel, that goose stuff's still around. Yeah. So who says they don't get there? They don't wake up on time. What if someone scavenges their ship and fucking takes it, or the corporation ends up finding them? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of different things you can do with this, and I really hope they continue this with now that. And I'll also say this. I think... Ridley Scott's third Covenant film can now finally come out. It has to. I think you can actually make it now because now the Alien franchise is back. Yeah. You've won that over. Mm -hmm. And maybe you tie it in somehow, which brings me to my next thing. So obviously they brought back an actor, uh, not using AI. Fede Alvarez has talked yeah. about how they brought this actor back to life. They got permission. Uh, Ian Holmes plays Rook. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? No, the, I did not. So the AI in there that uh what do they call him synths yeah synth. yeah synth that that guy was from the first alien movie yeah oh that's the android from the first movie but he oh. died in 2020 so they like did the whole yeah. fucking makeup and stuff like that so that is him and overall i liked it i understand why they did it yeah it's a cool callback it should have been david in my I, opinion it should have been david from prometheus and covenant i agree with you on yeah. that and also on top of that like I, that's actually the only reason I'm not a 10 out of 10. Yeah. And it's I, a dumb reason to some people, yeah. but I hated it at first and then I got used to it. I think my biggest issue with it is it was like, that was like the main thing about the movie. It kept going back to him when I think they could have like gone a different route, but it's also not the same, uh, synth. No, it's a different it's one. A different they just one. use the face, but that's where I'm like, yeah. Oh, if you so use, it's not the exact, it's not, no. it's just the same face. Like how like Prometheus has one version of David and then alien covenant has two versions yeah. of him, David yeah. and Walter. So like, that's my thing. I liked it overall because that synth is like, you know, kind of fucks yeah. over the whole crew in the first alien movie. Yeah. So I just, Sometimes the CGI looked a little off. It I'll did. be honest. I don't. Did you notice that the CGI looked a little bit off, like on his on face? Him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I only noticed something weird when they were doing the the hologram part. Okay. When you can kind of see yeah. where he's yeah. talking in the hologram. Yeah. Because it's actually crazy. It was they built his face. Yeah. Like yeah. that's an actual like puppet like robot stuff. So that's like, crazy. I think it's really interesting. I just for me. I, I just feel if you put David there, it would have been that perfect. It didn't even have to be David. Yep. It could have been another version of David Walter fucking, his name could have still been Rook and yep. it could have just been played by Michael Fassbender. But the writer came out and said that they never planned on that at all. It was always him from the start. Yep. And I think it's a missed opportunity. That That's literally mm -hmm. my only issue with the movie and it's just because I love Covenant and Prometheus yep. so much. I so. know a lot of people like that's why they didn't like this film is because of that, but I didn't change my experience at all. Yeah. And no, it, I, I mean, it didn't it. change yours yeah. at no, all either. I really, in, oh, yep. you're all good, man. I enjoyed it so much. I you thought it was a really good film. Yeah, I know. It's just like so. going around like this. <laughs> so I love it. Uh, anything else you guys want to bring up from Alien Romulus at all that like maybe I missed or any oh, major you know what? topics? Um, I know that you're a big horror fan, Seth, but one of the biggest things that I just hate in like horror films is that they always do like a pretty good job of like ending a film yeah. and then they do the typical like last 20 30 minutes literally last 20 seconds oh no yep. it's bad oh, they didn't do that in this one. they didn't do it That's and i was I like oh Betty. my goodness because he, yeah. he didn't do that for the evil dead either mm -mm. because you put so, you you put a character through that that much like trauma fuck, yeah. and, like trauma and shit like you want to root for them and that's what i love about fede yeah no I, i'm just so glad that they didn't follow that typical yep. horror trope have you that's, seen don't breathe no, I have not. Have you seen the Evil Dead remake? Yes, I have. Okay, the so you've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've seen that one. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Don't breathe is awesome. Yeah. Um, anything else? Anything you I, want to bring I up? I want to say like, and this is a spoiler too. Everything's spoiler. Yeah, okay, like okay, we're okay. talking all yeah, spoilers. Yeah. You're yeah. safe, man. Um, 
the one thing I really fucking loved about this movie is the face huggers. Oh that yeah, made them terrifying, and I that know. whole sequence—they're disgusting. They're disgusting, but the whole sequence when um, when Rain and I forgot the the other guy's name, but they raise the heat in the room so they could walk through there oh, so it yeah. matches with their body temperature. That shit had me on the edge of my seat, yeah. and it was like one of the coolest sequences. Bro, when he was like trying to talk to his sister, I was like, "Shut the fuck up!" Yeah, shut the fuck up. I like, know. And then he just says, "Run!" And then like, yeah. His demeanor is so good in that. Like he did a really good job yeah. playing like a robot person. Yeah, which if you guys really like David Johnson in this, I highly recommend a movie on Hulu called Rye Lane. It's a super independent romantic comedy that I absolutely fucking fell in love with. It's shot so uniquely, and it's just about two people who kind of get fucked over in their relationships but bond over for the day. Mm-hmm. And it's so adorable. I highly recommend it to everyone. Yeah. But ever since I saw him in that, I was just like, who the fuck is this guy? And then the whole time I was watching Romulus, I'm like, this actor looks so familiar and it's bugging the shit out of me and I have no idea what he's from. And then when the second I left, I was like, oh my God, it was Ray Lane. That's awesome. Dude, his turn from like innocent and sweet to fucking terrifying yeah. mm-hmm. needs to be studied. I thought that was so, so good. good. No. no, he did an yeah. awesome job. I was going to say, even when he's around with like the other characters, there's always like a demeanor whenever there's yeah. like a robot. He did a really good job of like always keeping a straight yeah. posture yeah. and just like his expressions were just so, very minimal. felt like a robot. Yeah. yeah. It, so. it reminded me of David Fassbender's whole like thing too. So the other thing I want to talk about is the incredible zero G sequence when she's shooting oh, all them and then has to go through the blood. Someone talk yeah. about it. Dude. So that whole sequence was so cool because first of all, it reminded me of like the ending of doom when you have like that. Point oh of view yeah. Shot and like, Having to like dodge the blood, uh, the acid blood was like so sick to me, and it just seeing Kaylee just fucking murder all these aliens was. Just... No, they and made... then have to, and then it's worse because then she has to go through yeah. the blood. Mm-hmm. They made that whole sequence just feel really well earned. Yeah, like it was a really cool action sequence that just like gave something to the fans to be like, "Hey, here's your, here's your action, here's yeah. your violence, here's everything it, you asked yeah. for." Yeah. And that was really was cool. Dope. It was really well earned. I it was loved really it. good. Uh, another sequence is um, the elevator. Yeah. So I want to ask this to you guys. When she's falling and the xenomorph catches her, would you have rather died by the fall or the xenomorph? Fall. I think probably the fall. Because I don't yeah. Sorry, 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 yeah, I was gonna say getting caught by a xenomorph is just like because no. I was like, dear God, that is the worst thing. Like you think you're about to die, you're like, fuck it, fine, like I'm gonna die, and then it's like, nope. Well, nope. and on top of that, the xenomorph might not kill you; it might like cocoon you and oh yeah, and then turn mm-hmm. you into one. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, which going risk. back to the chest bursting scene when she takes the X ray thing and puts it behind her back and she's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just see the the sound in there. You so know it was good. a puppet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all a puppet. It's so fucking That's cool. That's crazy. That's so cool. Which I have to say, I don't the actress's name is uh Aileen Wu? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She was not was she at uh she was not at San Diego Comic Con. No. Guys. No. I just want to say I, I thought she was. No, wasn't she not there? I thought she was. I thought she was not no, there. I thought they said that she wasn't there. Oh, oh yeah, she wasn't there. You're right, you're right. Okay. Is she in The Last of Us? Is she playing oh, Yara? She might be. I think you're Just right. saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Be a good pick for Yara. It would be. So, I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. I have some questions for you guys yeah. about... Oh, so, okay. overall, the Alien franchise, I think is... As a retrospect, I think it is a great franchise that has really, really lows and super big highs. Like... When I looked at my ranking, like my top five just kept shifting yeah. back and forth for such a fucking long time. Mm-hmm. And my ranking is out right now on YouTube. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to give you my reasons, but my, you can go watch my video. But my number nine, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Eight, Alien Resurrection. Seven, Alien 3. Six, Alien vs. Predator. Five, Prometheus. Four, Aliens. Three is Alien Romulus. Two is Alien. And my number one is, yes, Alien Covenant. Wow, you like Covenant that much? Dude, I watched Covenant three times this week. That's crazy. I, I'm obsessed. Like, I just fucking, I just, fuck everyone. Sorry. Like, I, I, I get it. <laughs> no, I thought it was a fun film. I it's liked so it. It's so good. That, the whole medical base situation. Ugh, this is fucking great. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys rank, but if you'd like to rank, feel free to. I actually just pulled out my letterbox okay. just because I was like, I can't remember when I rank mine. Okay. Um, this is going to shock a lot of people, but okay. I actually have Alien Romulus as my number one right now. 
Um, okay. Because it pulled in so many things that I really enjoyed about the franchise. Okay. And I fucking love Prometheus. Love it. And I, I thought it was going to tie into Aliens. And, and it tied didn't. into Prometheus. Yeah. And that made me super happy. Cool. So I have Alien, Romulus, Alien, Aliens. Uh, or sorry, no. Alien, Romulus, Alien, Prometheus, and okay. then Aliens. And then I have AVP. Because uh, I fucking love that movie. I think it's just so Fair fun. Enough. Um, I have Alien Covenant, Alien 3, Resurrection, and then obviously Requiem. Dead Last, I have Requiem. Do you want to try? Or, where yeah, we... I'll I'll try to remember okay. that. All right. So I'll number one, what's them. your number one? I think I like the original Alien. Okay, so Alien. Yeah. Yep. Number two? Aliens. Okay. Number and three? Romulus. Romulus, okay. And then let's see. Was your dad big on Alien? You know what? He was a uh, he was a predator guy. He was. So he was we, like my dad. Yeah, my <laughs> we dad liked predator, predator yeah. too. Okay. The city jungle or okay. whatever it was. Yeah that, yeah, that was really good. Okay, so go to your number next um, one. Sorry, Alien One and Two. And Romulus. Then you got Romulus. Hmm. You got Covenant, Prometheus, Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator Two, Alien Resurrection, Alien Three. Okay, I would probably just go with like Covenant. Okay. Prometheus, Prometheus. I don't remember much. Okay, so we'll do a Prometheus, and then probably like AVP. AVP AVP two, and then probably Aliens three and four. I mean, I think the last three are fucking ass. So yeah. I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> All right, random questions. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you want to see fight an alien? Any person in any medium, any iconic action could be from a video game, could be from a TV show, could be from a movie. I want uh, Lara Croft. To Ooh. Raider. Okay. The newest one, the original one, like, with, with, like, do you Angelina have like a preference? Jolie. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Honestly, like the video game one the, from the last like. The, okay, years. that that one's a good pick. Ooh. You? Do you have one? Could be from a movie, TV game. It does not matter. That's a good one. Um, it's hard. I would want Doom Guy. Doom Guy. Yeah. Okay. Would you? He would need like a swarm of them going after yeah. him though. Like and the, like a couple queens fighting him too. Because mm -hmm. like he fucking go. Yeah. Laura Croft, you give her one Xenomorph. Yeah. Because yeah, she, I think she'd be able to defeat. She's it. resourceful. Yeah. Um. For me, it's tough because I really thought about this. Um. Like I, Furiosa. I mean, I kept thinking of Furiosa oh, cool. fighting a Xenomorph. That'd be cool. Like coming out, but. I don't know if it was because like oh I got the movie and then like all this stuff and I watched it this week but um low key like I kind of want like Marcus Phoenix fighting that would be sick Zemorphs. that'd be cool so I think that'd be cool so can I throw in another one yeah uh Riddick ooh, ooh Riddick. I like the Riddick do you have another one then if he I'll give you another one mm. he said Riddick so that'd be sick no I don't have another one that's okay. just like that surprised me that right. caught me off guard yeah I like okay, let that me, let me throw you another one. Who do you want to see get demolished and killed by an alien? Uh, the kid from <laughs> the, the kid from uh, the Babadook. <laughs> oh fuck you, man! <laughs> you? You said kid, and the first thing that came to my mind was like Carl Weezer from Jimmy oh Neutron. So Carl Weezer, you want to die? Can you imagine a Can you imagine a chest burster coming out of him? <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> So How would you want him to die? Ch Chestburster? Is Probably Carl Weezer just... your pick? Yeah. Carl. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy's um, mom. <laughs> the first thing I had, the first thought I had when I wrote this question was SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I want to see him get demolished, murdered by a xenomorph. I want to see the chest bursters coming out of yeah. each hole, and then just like a bunch of like they're just fucking wrecking him. I want to see him murder all of Bikini Bottom. Man, it That's was just his twenty fifth birthday too, yeah. dude. What's well, funnier than twenty four though? <laughs> all right uh who would you uh wait what alien would you like to see go fight an alien example et versus an alien so i had a good one for this okay. i was thinking last night the creature from the thing Ooh, that's a great pick because it could like absorb it and become this fucking oh yeah terrifying that's a thing. good pick holy shit i didn't think about that you yeah do you got one is the is the thing it's an alien yeah, right yeah yeah it has a spaceship in yeah it. yeah yeah i forget do you have one, Phil? Oh, you know what? The aliens from Mars attack. Oh, that's a great. Yeah. <laughs> what do they go? Meet, meet, meet. Like, that's yeah. Amazing. I love that movie. Uh, for me, Stitch. I want to see Stitch fight a xenomorph. Stitch. Yeah, that's a good. Fucking straight Stitch fighting a xenomorph. All right. How long could you guys survive a xenomorph situation? And and if you think you legitimately could, how would you? I think just a few minutes. You don't think you could actually win? Like. Oh, like in a fight fight? A fight, running away, escaping, whatever. 
because all I think is about is like hiding. I think I could hide for maybe like three minutes. Do you before think you'd start giggling? This is what I got the table. He's not gonna find me. <laughs> and then the door just opens, or like comes from behind you and just fucking snips Stabs you. Me. Yeah. Um, I don't think I would last that long. However, if I was able to get the gun that they had in Romulus that like helps with the auto aim, okay. I would have a better shot. Okay. But like, That's if fair. it's just me in a spaceship by myself with the xenomorph, like. I'd rather just kill myself at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I mean, if I have fire, maybe. Fire. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. Three other favorite aliens in any medium, but you have to choose game TV movie. Oh, just like any other oh, medium. So like, medium. like for movie, I would do stitch TV. Uh, f- fuck man. Uh, first one that pops in my head is the fucking, uh, jelly goo ones from jimmy neutron so i'd probably say them and then game wise i would go with like all the aliens okay. from half-life oh that's a good one i was gonna yeah. just say destroy all humans one. Oh, that is a good one what about you i can't think of a video game one no let's see like what oh fucking halo oh, how yeah. are we not talking oh, about no. halo the I grunts halo, yeah halo would be a video game one um for TV? oh my god mass effect <laughs> Fuck okay. me. Take that back. Uh, I would have Liara. That'd be cool. Yeah. Halo. Um, so, yeah. So that. Dead Space. And then, um, I, yeah, this is tough. <laughs> you play Dead Space? I know. I, I, yeah. I love Dead Space. Dead okay. Space is great. Um, but I would do I would do Halo for sure. And then uh, what's her name from um, f- fucking what's that show? Futurama. The Purple Lady. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Leela? Futurama. Leela? Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. a cyclops, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then movie E.T. I E.T. E.T. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fill you. So Iron again, Giant technically counts. Yeah. Just saying. Oh, yeah. So does Superman, so. Yeah, Superman counts, too. You know what? I would do Iron Giant for okay. my movie. That's his favorite movie of all time. Yeah, movie. that's my favorite movie ever. I love that movie. Um, game, Dead Space, TV show. Trying to think of TV shows that have there's aliens not a in lot. it. Yeah, like there's not a lot. I mean, there probably is, like Kyle X Y, Resident Alien, the Martian Man Star Hunter. Trek, Martian Manhunter from Supergirl. Yeah, Falling Skies was kind of underrated, and then it kind of fell apart. I don't know. Fuck the TV part. Yeah. Anyways, uh, guys, that's our podcast. That is into the is that really it? That's it. Yeah, I didn't do any viewer wow. questions because uh, we had a lot to talk about today. Yeah. Um, before going around and saying our goodbyes, I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first three-person podcast. Uh, and Seth, thank you so much for being our guinea pig on this because I hope it worked out. Because if it didn't, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna scream my lungs out. Please. Do. Um, but Seth, where can the audience find you, and what do you have coming up next? So you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok under According to Seth. And coming up next, I am doing a Q&A with the audience for My Old Ass, which is coming out soon. Um, so you'll be able to see those videos coming out this week. And uh, Fantastic Fest. I will be interviewing directors, actors there, and covering that whole event from September 18th to the 28th. Perfect. Uh, Phil, they'll find us on this podcast, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. So uh, you'll find us on this podcast. Obviously, me at Zach Pope Reviews as well. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. And of course, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>